Like, comment and subscribe. US vs India McDonald's. I watched the Domino's and KFC version of this. So now we have to go to probably the king of fast food, isn't it? McDonald's. From how we come to portion sizes, we want to find out all the differences between McDonald's in India and the US. This is Food Wars. Yep. We all know that. Bigs and McDonald's in India come in three... three sizes. Regular, medium and large. Drinks yeah. and McDonald's in the US, four sizes. Oh, it's a smaller one. Small, Right. Right. 355 compared to three sizes. Regular, medium, and large. Their extra Drinks small is smaller than our small. Extra small, small, medium, and large. Oh shit. Wait, so that's almost twice as much. And keep them up. Lost a couple drops. 26, 27 blue ounces. Huh. I mean, the. Price so, pretty much the. Bot or. Pretty much the cup is just a lot bigger. In America, our price I mean, to be fair, it is sizes, also a bit bigger. We have a small, kids, or. Huh? Kids, small, I can't tell the difference either. Medium, I mean, that's. The medium and large chocolate is really cool. New packaging like this. They do? Nice to Since when? Well. Good job, McDonald's. I've never seen that. But now it's time to measure and see how much we're really getting. First things first, the large. 175 grams. Huh. Obviously, it's pretty much the same. Or whatever. Yeah, that's good. This one. Almost exactly 100 grams. Kids is almost 100. 80. Mass, Close enough, isn't it? Is, is he gonna count it? Yep, there you go. 20. That's 20 grams difference right there. So, so you tell me in the next, is the kids in the small different sizes? I don't think they are. Barely. <laughs> Barely. What about McDonald's? Just the price, so I think. You can order them in three sizes, six pieces, nine pieces, and yeah. 20 pieces. They give it to us in two boxes of 10 each. Oh, is that in India? Cute. Our nuggets start at four. Four. Eight, six, ten, twenty. That's more than twenty. Forty McNuggets. All the men what? that watching will be quick to point out that is double India's largest. Four. That and why is it in that small of a packet then? If it's four, surely you could just make it in a bucket. The only burger that India shares with the US is the McChicken. Humble McChicken. That's the only one. That's it. 149 grams. Ah, this is so frustrating. One more gram will be perfect. <laughs> With the paper, I mean, we'll that this. looks a lot more depressing. Shave off an eighth of an ounce. Our chicken weighs 100. It's quite depressing. I mean, Here's everything oh my god. This is way more than the Domino's and KFC ones. Oh shit. <laughs> this is like the first time I've seen any other country have more exclusives than the US. Oh wait, it's because of fucking veg. Yeah. We have something called the chicken Maharaja Max. Oh yeah. I don't think I've eaten it, but I mean, it looks fucking sick. In every way. Good and bad. It's way too much realistically. Yeah, pretty much. Now let's see it's a veg Maharaja Mac. I think it's actually a very cool challenge that a lot of fast food restaurants here have had to adapt to the Indian palate as well as yeah. sensibilities of food. We have come up with such cool iconic fast food that you won't get anywhere else in the world. Like look at this! In the world! This is outrageous! Really? No way to eat this without being messy. This is literally a <laughs> That's a good edit. Mmm! Oh my god! That's really good! Yes to all that! Looks really good. Because yeah. India's lack of beef, all the American beef options are technical exclusives. Oh yeah, mm. obviously. Mm. Why do you need hygiene? It's a McDonald's Big burger. Mac. Why do you need hygiene? Just stuff. My go-to for like 20 years. 
I still get a pig. Yeah, of course I do. McDonald's hamburger. It's and so depressing. What the fuck? Do people McDonald's actually eat this? Man? Like, hamburger. this looks like something you'd make at home when you Horses. don't have anything else. You can yeah, fair. Or See, that seems more sure actualizable. So let's start with the double cheeseburger. Look at how nice yellow that is. Beef, cheese, beef, cheese, tapas. And the double is beef, cheese, beef. So it's just one slice of cheese in the middle, but not on top. What's the price difference? Can we get that for me? And how much is a slice of cheese? Joe Tack, get yourself a McDonald's and bring your own slice of American cheese. Booyah. Yeah. Save yourself <laughs> this amount of money. Fantastic. The reason you guys can't buy houses is you're selling your money to Starbucks, you're getting your double cheese burgers instead of the McDonald's, bringing your own cheese slice. I mean, I mean the grey hair doesn't make him look <laughs> great for this, does it? Right? It adds up to like, at the end of the year, $18? 10,000 years later, that's a down payment on the house. Not, no, it, not even. <laughs> it's 18,000 is not even good enough anymore. Mate, ah, yeah. Into this burger with a very special sauce of tomato and chopped onions. I mean, I don't eat veg stuff. Or at least not regularly. Next up, there is a Mexican Mexican tiki, which I assume oh, has yeah. some it's just the sauce. Mexican ingredients and flavors like And like the patty is probably same. Yes, jalapeno. Huh. Nice. Didn't expect it. Good twist. Next up, they have a Mac egg burger. Yeah. Breakfast egg, one, egg. this is. I don't know why I do that. It's like the earlier time anyone has this. Sorry. I did not expect best. Yeah. Next up is a chicken kebab burger. I mean, I don't think it Anyone tastes that bad. Kebab. I don't think I've seen chicken 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 kebab. I don't think I've Next up is the mac veggie, which is the vegetarian counterpart to oh, yeah. chicken. If I Easy had enough, isn't it? I would not be upset at all. Really good. Next yeah. up, we have two American burgers, American <laughs> cheese supreme wedge, and the American oh, great. cheese supreme it's a crossover. chicken. My hunch for what makes them American is that they will have cheese. a nice big square cheese and they will not Absolutely. be spicy at all. Except they have a lot of jalapenos on them. Huh. Joe, let me know if this constitutes American. That's American cheese, my man. That's what makes it American. I don't know. Yeah, it sounds alright. Alright, so this is what the McDonald's website says is in this burger. Whole wheat bun sauce from Maharashtra. And jalapenos from Karnataka. Where are you? I mean, grown in local Indian farms. Ah, yes. And cheese from Amravati, <laughs> also in India. So it's but not American, is it? <laughs> Currently, this would probably be my favorite order, a mixed spicy chicken. And the ah, yeah. option is a mixed spicy paneer, which is unique in lettuce. For those of you who don't know what paneer is, it's basically cottage cheese. We love our paneer. We put it in curry, we eat plain, we put it in kebabs. Pretty much wedge so chicken alternative. Like Mm. Has just the right kick and goes really well with the paneer. Fair warning, while this may have a light kick of spice for us, it might be a hard kick for you. So yeah, probably. Can I give you a touch of chili powder? Can I move up to something called the porter And that's. Oh, yeah, I've heard of this. I've never understood what it is. Right? Like, just kidding, it's cake. But the, the, the new one is uh, it's actually a candle. Then you get a porter of cheese deluxe. I mean, it looks quite good. You can upgrade to a double port of hard cheese. Oh man! Oh, that is so many calories. Double with bacon. Yeah. You put more stuff in it. What the hell? Beef burgers we make up for in gourmet burgers. That's right. Here in McDonald's India, we have our own collection of chef special 
gourmet burgers same delicious. friends and uh, i think this is a really mini i think they introduced new things from time to time the buns themselves look a lot more Gourmet. That was nice. Drift down. No way. Kind of looks like a bun. But that's okay. We're not going to concentrate on that. First up, we have triple cheese American veg burger and triple cheese American chicken burger. I mean, that sounds quite good to be fair. I like cheese. Jalapenos on the other hand. Not as much. Does this scream American to you? Next up, cheese lava American veg burger and cheese lava American chicken burger. I've never even heard of any of this stuff. With the with the strange relation of food what? to volcanoes and lava. Okay, this burger is very spicy. This qualifies as a, as a volcano product for sure. Congratulations. Sure, as hell, it's not American. The lava in the title of this burger works. The McSpicy Chicken Premium though has an egg patty inside of it. I think I've seen that somewhere. I've never tried it. That's pretty good. Let's see if I can just tell you right now. Imagine sitting here on this table and just tasting every single burger on McDonald's. Amazing. Although, shhh. We also have some exclusive wrap options. We have big spicy burgers. Ah, yeah. Big spicy chicken. I don't think anyone ever has these. Big spicy chicken patty. Who's going to fucking McDonald's to have a wrap? Which is actually way closer to an Indian chapati than most other fast food restaurants. Yeah, this... That just looks like a, a roll. Hand wraps for a brief period of time. What day they were gone? Nobody knows. What a yeah, tragedy. Yeah, yeah, we got some chicken stuff that we don't have, but we got a few of our own. More recently than you think, they finally introduced their chicken sandwich to an already crowded chicken sandwich market. And that is yeah. their crispy chicken sandwich. And this thing is fantastic. Oh, nice. It's one of the best ones. They were late for the game, and they kind of took it over. <laughs> Why do people like pickles? I have no idea. I mean, either it's a chicken in bread. Why do people in holidays have pickles in this? So it is. And I'm putting one of those stories tomorrow. So when it arrives in three weeks, you can throw it. <laughs> now we're getting into exclusive side dishes. Here in India, we have these add-ons. Hmm. Number one, the veg pizza McPuff. This is one oh, of the yeah. interesting things we have here. It's basically a pizza hot pocket. Masala veg. I mean, the potato veg. Yeah, I guess that's what you can call it. Masala flavor to them. Ooh, boy. Masala is basically what we use to spice Masala, the flavor to them. Wedges or oh, wedges, yeah. I didn't realize it was in McDonald's. I thought it'd be like in Domino's KFC, though. Yeah. Yeah. What? Man. Amul butter. Not a uh, single okay, person has ever had that <laughs> in their life. Makhan. Makhan. <laughs> this is probably going to be the most delicious bite of the day. Really? Fine. Corn. I love corn. Next up, chicken strips. They come in packs of two. Is that kid from Texas? Three or five. Or five or six. Five. 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 Next we have the double cheese McMuffin and lastly we have Mexican cheesy fries oh, yeah. on the McDonald's India website. I've heard it fucking bad. Said that these Mexican cheesy fries are the real deal. I have no idea how a British person can say that a Mexican cheesy fries is the real deal. Oh, yeah. Anytime a British person says <laughs> yeah. that another culture's food is the real deal, it puts a little fear in our <laughs> small Indian hearts. <laughs> and the next exclusive side that we have is apple slices. Uh, oh yeah. Cut them up, put them in a plastic bag. Very easy, isn't it? That's why, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. I mean, of course they have a lot of. That's like one of the main exclusive. Barbecue. 
Pretty much the standard for most US restaurants. Like six by six sauces. I would tie with an egg barbecue because it's so different to what we do guys. Ranch, I don't know. We don't really love our ranch. Ranch is just okay. That's what I said. Ranch is just okay. Oh, and all ranch tastes the same. Ooh. And finally, honey. How about that? Honey, honey with one. chicken nuts. All that money, all that energy, all that time, creating all these recipes, <laughs> trying to sway the American pocket, the American mind, and you got, you got beat by a bunch of bees. Power <laughs> to the bees! What the fuck? We have one exclusive spice mix as well as one exclusive sauce here in India. We have chili sauce, which is pretty straightforward. Chili sauce? Yeah, but makes sense. Let me tell you about Pili Pili Spice. Mix. So McDonald's they launched sell this? this in 2013 here in India. What? And it was so really? popular. They were right when they said they were going to discontinue it. And so now, <laughs> it's a permanent addition to the menu. Man. First you get this shake back, then you grab your fries, and you just pour that in there. Oh, oh just <laughs> make your own peri peri fries. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, oh, wow. Truly. The greatest right. one that you could see. Now look at these. You can see yeah. the little flecks of spice just adorning each fry. Adorning, yeah. Oh yeah, it's the break of women. Hello, it's she was in the KFC one as well. Perry Perry McDonald's chips, but in the UK it is all about Nando's, cheap Nando's. Of course. Let's talk about Perry Perry. Perry means pepper. And it's blended yeah. spices, so it's got things like paprika, ground birds like chili, a bit of oregano, a pinch of ginger and cardamom, but it's a Portuguese spice blend. It's funny, I'm gonna take a word for it. I mentioned that the peri peri fries just blew off in India. And it makes sense because I'm from Goa, which is in the south of India. Goa was colonized by the Portuguese. And so Absolutely. I really think that Indians are accustomed to that Portuguese taste palette, which is why really? the peri peri fries are doing so well in India. But on the talking, I yeah. the Might just be the spice. Mm. No, it was so good. How do we get involved? No, sorry. Okay. Okay. It's the UK guy. Okay. God damn. It doesn't. Like crack. For what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 For the early risers, there's plenty of exclusive Sausage the biscuit? The what do you mean? Sausage. One biscuit. Well, oh, they've biscuit. made the sausage hard. <laughs> so, one way to say Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached the point of the breakfast where we get into the McGriddles. I love McGriddles. What's the McGriddle you ask? Oh, yeah, we're out of it. McDonald's had this genius idea to replace the pancakes or something. Yes. Yeah. And they also like inject <laughs> syrup into it somehow. What the fuck? <laughs> what kind of fucking biochemist is this? Anyone's ever had anywhere ever. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! It doesn't look like a little hand on there. This is going to be okay. Oh, and I'm going to pull out the rest of the bar. Hmm. We have a veg McMuffin and a sausage McMuffin. Mm. The sausage here in India is not made out of pork like it is in the US. Instead it's made out of simple chicken. chicken yeah. Speaking of sausage, uh, yeah. you can get breakfast burrito. Oh yeah, never had pork sausage. I didn't realize that. You're like a total drag. And you want oatmeal in the morning. We have it. As inspiring as you would think. Hot cakes and sausage. Of course, it comes with hot syrup. Ooh, this year, that looks fucking class. The big breakfast with hot eggs. Ooh, big. A lot of eggs. Kind of that bit. looks tasty as hell. Two English muffins here, and of course, comes with hash brown. Mm. Potatoes. Who doesn't love them? Can I have hash brown? That is very good. I've yeah, had that here. Desserts. We have a black forest mixed slowly, yeah. a vanilla chocolate muffin, and a chocolate chip muffin. I've seen those, I don't think barely sweet. anyone has that. This would be really good if it was actually a McFlurry. Desserts! 
USA, USA, we got it. Of course. Here, very simple. Chocolate chip cookies. Ah, uh, this next Basically. apple fritter, right? Mmm. That's right here. Ah, yeah. Nice ah. Blueberry muffins. Pull up our donut. This is a what? I love it. Let's see what's inside. Okay. And guava and what? <laughs> what now? I'm suddenly more interested. Yeah! Guava and cream. Big fan of cream pies with me. <laughs> the worst cream pie he's ever had. Standard menu item, the McDonald's apple pie. Everyone else was this. I don't want a pizza version of this. Yeah. And last but not least, cinnamon roll, two steak and filly. Yeah. <laughs> Update, it's not sticky, it's actually... Hog sock. Exclusive drinks, starting with, we have something called... What the hell are these? I mean, yeah, I know that one. It's in grocery stores. Since when? Why? Where? Pretty much everyone just has like a Coke or Pepsi or whatever. Nobody has fucking fruit juice with McDonald's. (laughs) That's the most fucking counteracting thing. Imagine healthy. A healthy juice along with my fuck ton of calories of McDonald's. It's still quite sweet but quite good. Next up, American mud pie shake. Mmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, that probably tastes good like a flurry. Dr. Pepper. Let's go. Coke, not exclusive. Everything served in the same cup. I didn't realize that. Oh yeah, I'm sweet tea, that's sweet enough. You guys combine. But the kid is watching. Why are you watching? Where are your parents and supervisors? You can get yourself apple juice, milk, milk. <laughs> Who the fuck drinks milk? Like direct milk. Iced French vanilla latte. Surely they'll make you feel good along with McDonald's as well. That's a really, really sweet. Strawberry banana smoothie. Yeah, that's good. Oh wait, yeah, I think I've had that. So good to assume they're not good for me. Exclusive hot drinks. First up, we have strawberry green tea. Next up, uh, English <laughs> breakfast tea. And coffee tea. Next up, a flat white coffee. Tea, 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 tea and coffee. And where we run on a chai and McDonald's does not have a chai. Oh yeah, wait. Caramel macchiato. That's weird. Cappuccino. Caramel latte. A vanilla cappuccino. Fancy a name. McDonald's premium roast coffee. I can't have this one. Huh. Solid. And now this is the big difference, isn't it? 231 rupees for just a sandwich. That's around 3.03 US dollars. No, I mean for look at it. It's quite good. Not probably the most standard any prices have ever been across these two. Yeah, but still. Let me guess. Seven dollars? Eight. Nine, pretty much. Oh shit. Huh. That's a lot worse. Huh. Still less than the previous one. However, while it seems a lot cheaper than the food in the US, I mean, money, still very money. And Nobody will have here. this. Your minimum wage per hour is equal to our daily minimum wage. And so, yeah, yeah a lot of people can't afford this kind of food. The English speaking Indians that you see in a lot of YouTube videos on the internet aren't really a proper reflection of the majority of people that live in the Absolutely. You still can't afford food like this. So, I am a lot richer than most people. But let's play devil's advocate. McDonald's India has definitely included a lot more affordable options. I mean, yeah, out, so out of fast they food, they are probably along with other fast food chains. the most affordable is probably Burger King and Subway, maybe. 
in like re, in dumb in relation to others. In the US, a chicken contains 400 calories, 21 grams of fat, 39 grams of fat, 560 milligrams of sodium. How about the Indian chicken? One of these contains 390 yeah, calories, 15 grams of food, fat, 48 grams of carbs, 5 grams of which are sugars, 787 milligrams of sodium. So more sodium, less fat, more carbs. Calories, way less of fats, but much more carbs and sodium. What if we made that kind of huh. Well, a medium fry in the US contains the following. 320 calories, 15 grams of fat, yeah. 2 grams of carbs, no sugar, and 260 no sh- grams of sodium. Oh, but yeah. Makes sense, actually. In India, that means 340 calories, 17 grams of total fat, 40 grams of carbs, 0 grams of sugars, and 256 milligrams of sodium. Very much a milder difference, but the opposite of the burger. 210 calories, no fat. Isn't it? It's a Coke, surely it's the same thing. I mean, yeah, the amount is the difference. We're the same. Here in India, one medium Coke will cost you 151 calories, 0 grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs, 40 grams of sugars, and 256 milligrams of sodium. What? No sodium. How does that make sense? Only 889 calories for an entire McDonald's meal. I mean, it feels a lot more like shit than most other meals, to be fair. Sodium is somehow the biggest difference. Unfortunately for India, the combo stats are a little misleading, and the difference maker is the Coke because the American meal has a larger portion. Yeah, obviously. The Indian meal will actually have a higher calorie count. Oh, shit. Nice. McDonald's India does not share a full list of their ingredients. But, that's not something good. we do know about their food. Like, you know, there's the chicken. They actually changed Indian farming practices <laughs> just so they could grow the kind of potato that they wanted. Oh, yeah. When they first launched there was something. I thought that was late. They promised the government that they would use huh. products grown and sourced right here in India. But people who had eaten McDonald's abroad realized that the price didn't taste quite the same. The reason hmm. for this is that Indian potatoes were too small, the round had way too much moisture and sugar content. And so the yeah. fries made out of them were not long enough, they didn't get crispy enough, and they didn't have that distinctive McDonald's food So McDonald's partnered with Mickey sure. Foods and they spent nine years trying to perfect their potato. They imported saplings. Motherfuckers became farmers to get fast food to India. They also Gujarat as their farming location for its climate. And yeah, makes sense. And they flood irrigation to a sprinkler system to reduce moisture content and save water. The yeah. result, bigger and more starchy potatoes that can be used to make the McDonald's fries that you know and love. McDonald's in the US mostly sure. uses Russet Burbank or Shepherdy, Shepherdy? What? Potato me? So... It's a fucking massive potato. Long fry. Yeah, look how long this is. Wow. No new low moisture and low sugar content. This means they can remain crispy when fried and don't caramelize too fast so you can get a nice, even brown. McDonald's hmm. in the U.S. actually discloses all its ingredients. So of course we can it does. I'm pretty sure it legally has. In the U.S., for instance, our mayonnaise contains egg, as does most American mayonnaise. Thanks to the FAQ oh. page on the McDonald's yeah. India website, we found out that the mayonnaise is eggless, along with all of the other sauces except for yeah. the tartar sauce. When people describe mm. things as vegetarian here in India, they typically mean it doesn't contain egg. Did we quiet the yeah. entire Ronald and the crew? If, they, if we did, thank God. It's very bizarre, the whole Ronald and the It's kind of nightmarish. So, yeah, we had a clown. Pretty good video. Quite liked it. Food insider. Oh yes, education to a degree.